Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Brian Mueller here at Liberty Ranch High School where the Hawks were hosting Elk Grove Monday night and Liberty Ranch came out strong. First set, Peyton Snow sets it up for Maddie Trulock and her southpaw spike gives the Hawks the early lead. Set point for Liberty Ranch, Jess Lawton comes up with the dig. Carly Furtado puts it on a platter for Snow to secure the first set for the Hawks 25-19 blizzard of kills for Snow. She had a game-high 16. Much of the same in the second. Hadley Gray tries to sneak this over, but the Hawks are ready for it. Snow goes down for the dig. Furtado sets up for Rachel Smith to slam it home. She had 12 kills. Liberty Ranch wins the second set, 25-20, but the thundering herd would thunder back in the third set. Billy Hogue puts it up there for Noah Tomaharapai, and she puts it away. Elk Grove jumps out to a 10-4 lead. They would win the set, 25-20. Onto the fourth now. The home team appeared to be in control. Lawton laying down the law here to give Liberty a 13-10 lead. But the thundering herd comes all the way back to get set point. Leah Poteris handles the serve. Hogue sets it, and Gray seals the set for Elk Grove. She had a team-high 12 kills, and we go to a decisive fifth set. Once again, Liberty Ranch gets off to a good start. Callie McCoy sends it right back from whence it came. The Hawks have an 11-8 lead. They're playing the 15 here, but Elk Grove would not go away. The Thundering Herd have match point at 14-12. The spike is long, and Elk Grove comes all the way back with an improbable 3-2 win to start the season 1-0.